So this is part four of my networking cleanup. I've finally managed to identify all of the Cat5 related cables. There are some Cat5 cables floating through the ceiling that are voice related, but I don't plan on tracing those out because I don't particularly care at this time. Um, it was quite the project. I'm not going to say I did it the best way by any means, but the way I did it ended up working using the PoE switch. Ideally, you'd have something like a fox and hound tool, but in my case, I physically just traced out the wires as they went through the ceiling by just picking a wire and then manually determining where it goes through its path. One of the reasons I did that is because I didn't want to buy the tools. <laughs> um, the other reason is there's a lot going on above the ceilings and the fact that I physically went through stuff, pulled ceiling tiles out and did looking around helped me understand a little bit more about the infrastructure that's here. Found a lot of abandoned cables that were just cut and left in the ceiling but still patched to the patch panel, which wasn't great, but the nice thing about it is there was enough length where I was able to find an empty electrical box with conduit going to it that I could just fish the wire down to. So, in the end, them being lazy and just cutting the cord randomly in the ceiling paid off because it just gave me another place to run some jacks that I wanted. But, yeah, <laughs> I learned a lot. There's essentially five cables that I could not figure out. I got these, yeah, these two that just kind of disappear into oblivion. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what's up, what's up with that. And then I have three in that bundle that go across the street. There is also, I guess, this chunk of wire here. I'm not sure what the purpose of it was. It all goes across the street to a different building. I think they were trying to pass phone and networking to their other warehouse since there was basically three buildings that were related to each other and this was the main hub. But yeah, now I have the fun part of figuring out a better way to route this. A lot of this stuff I need to take back further. I'm going to take all these loops back to where they come into the, the room. And then from there I'm going to look at what remains. Because i got a few things that are in here that are just kind of poorly routed. Like this analog cable here. It is Cat5, but it's, it's being used for analog. That runs all the way back to the old analog system. I'm hoping I can maybe shift these cables just to serve with the rest of the related analog ones. Kind of help clean things up. Um, some of the stuff is just going to be in the way, like like this 25 pair. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm probably going to zip tie it to the conduit as much as I don't want to. Make it in a nice coil and try to clean it up. And some of this old, I don't know what this stuff's called, but multi-conductor low voltage cable of some sort some of that old analog phone stuff I don't know what it's doing if it's hooked up it's just gonna stay up there but in the end part of me is kind of worried that this whole project was futile short of knowing what the cables are doing that's be my biggest benefit but was, if anything it'll be a fun learning experience and I'll know how to do a better job next time so thanks for watching